Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn how to set up the root, root password. While setting the root password we will also learn about extra users class, debug tweaks, this inherit variable and extra users param variable. So now let us begin. To set up the root password first of all what we need to do is we need to remove the debug tweaks from the image features. So what is that? If you see the local.conf file, you come at the top. Here you can see that we have extra image features and it is all set to debug tweaks. So if you come to this file here, here you see that what does debug tweaks do? it makes an image suitable for development example allowing passwordless root login so what is what it enables these four things one two three four it allows empty root password it means that if you set any password so it will not be set for the root if debug to access already uh, enable if you try to set the password it will not throw any error during the build but the password will be ignored then it allows empty password it means that if you log in using SSH then the empty password allow means that it will not ask for any password and you can log in without any password and number three is allow root login so what is this if allow root login is not set up even though if you give the correct username and correct password it means the correct username is, name is the root and the correct password of the root you cannot log in using SSH if it is not if this is not set into the extra image features so what we will do first of all is we will disable debug tweaks but we will enable only allow root login so we can access our board using SSH so let us do that first to disable this debug tweaks what we can do is we can comment this out this is the one method but what I will prefer we will use the overrides to disable this if you don't know how variable overrides work please watch my video on variable overrides so let us do it first we will do extra image features colon remove is equal to t bug tweaks this space is very important you should keep this space now the second thing we have disabled everything uh, for the uh, empty root password but we need to allow our image to access the root user using SSH for that we'll do it again extra image feature this time append and we'll do allow root allow root login allow root log this we will do after that we need a new password then the password should be encrypted why we use the encrypted password because if we write the password here anybody can look at this file and they can decode our they can see our password that's why we always use the encrypted password and decrypted password is I think it is depreciated it means that you cannot you cannot longer use it you have to use the encrypted password so to encrypt the password what we need to do is we will create one so what we'll do we'll do the command I will also put the command in the description and I have also described this command in the previous video is print f inverted commas inside inverted com commas you have percent q then we have dollar bracket open close and we have 
open SSL password and the password the non the, the original password that we have to use for the login so I will say it is one two three four five and press enter so now here we have the encrypted password so I will copy it and I will see here root password this is you can you can name it anything but I am naming it root root password and now it is equal to this thing this encrypted one so let us also write here that the original password is you see here non encrypted is one two three four five I am only writing this here for the sake of understanding but in really in real world we don't write it because then it doesn't mean anything if you write here in a comment the original password and you also write this so it doesn't mean anything now what we need to do is we need the extra user class so what is extra user class the extra user class a uh, users it's not user extra users users class it allows us to set the new user to set to set up the password of the existing user to set to create a new group to add a user into a group all those kind of stuff is done by extra user class so we will inherit it inherit if you do inherit we have also learned about inherit in uh, in the video of uh, bb class file and classes so in, if you are using a class in uh, our a recipe our bb file or bb append file so we the syntax was like this inherit and we we write the name of the class for example extra users like this but this we can only do in the recipes in the configuration file in local.conf for any other con file the syntax would be inherit inherit plus equal and the name of the class now so for classes extra users now we have our password now we have our class now what we'll do is we will we will set up a root password for the root to do that we need to set extra users param so it is extra users not user but users params not param but params and will equal to we'll do user mode it means that here we are using it to set up only the password the small minus small p this uh, switch and then single quotes and here we will do this root password we will do root password and then the name of the user so our user is root and semicolon so now what we'll do is we will try to build the image so let us save this and now we are going to build the image to build the image let me source my environment set up environment source so we build okay now what I will do is core image full command line I think it's I forgot bit big bit big core image full command line So now it is building.
the image has been built successfully so now what we'll do is we will test our image and we will see if it asks for the root password and if it if we can log in using our root password over SSH so now let us log in using SSH SSH root at 192 dot one six eight dot seven dot two we need to wait for a while I guess yes now yeah I have already this is the new image but the same IP address so we have to remove this using this command and now we'll try once more we we'll say yes this time and you see that this time now it is asking for root password so the password was one two three four five you can't see the password here so you can see that now we have logged in successfully and we also have a root password so this is how you can set up the root uh, the password for the root user so uh, yeah i hope uh, you like this video please uh, like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching